What should we try tonight? Uh, let's see, I think I see you, Dragonfly IPA. Hey, welcome to the latest edition of uh, This Guy's Dog. Uh, tonight's episode, we have a uh, Dragonfly IPA uh, made by Upland uh, Brewing. Uh, Upland Brewing in um, Indianapolis, oh, sorry, Bloomington, Indiana. Um, that's probably a couple hours or so, uh, two, two and a half hours away from where I'm at now in Ohio. Uh, this was, I got this over the border in uh, Indiana on a build your own, uh, actually it wasn't a build your own six pack, it was at uh, Kroger. They sell, uh, they sell some uh, craft beer by the bottle over there, so I picked this up over there. Uh, this year we're looking at 6.7 ABV, 65 IBU, it's printed right on the bottle. I wish everybody did that. Uh, it says, best enjoyed by uh, May of 2018. So um, we still got a couple of months, uh, two and a half months or so um, before this best buy date has uh, come around. Uh, depending on when I post a video, that is anyway. Anyhow, you got a dragonfly, some uh, purple uh, label there with the dragonfly. You see the uh, Upland logo towards the top in the middle. Uh, bottle cap. Uh, nice colorful bottle cap, really. Uh, got the Upland logo on there with the uh, hills on it. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like Hops Hills or what that's supposed to be, but it's still, that's a nice, uh, nice bottle cap on there to look good on the bar here. Uh, again, not bad um, logo there. Um, not bad bottle label there. So I like the uh, Best Buy date on there and the... Um, the hops, or sorry, the IPA, uh, IBUs, and the uh, ABV. I like it when they print all that on the bottle. Uh, anyhow, um, says Indiana, uh, Midwest, USA, Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, I do got the website up. You can go to uplandbeer.com and uh, check out a little bit more about them if you're interested. Uh, I have heard this is, um, I had a guy tell me that this would be, like a beginner level IPA or a light IPA, so we'll see if that uh, we'll see if there's any truth to that. Um, anyhow, I did hear this is pretty good, so uh, let's get on with it. Uh, putting off a citrusy aroma right off the bat, kind of a floral floral smell to it. Let's get it in the glass here. We're looking at uh, an off-white colored uh, head on it, uh, two, two fingers there, good two fingers. Uh, Color-wise, uh, like a light amberish, uh, orangish color it's putting off to me. Um, not real carbonated. There's some bubbles popping up from the bottom, but overall, uh, not a lot of carbonation bubbles on there. Uh, you got some big bubbles up on top. And uh, hopefully you can get in that color there. It's kind of an orangish, light reddish, orangish, amber type of color to it. Um, it does got clarity to it. I can't make things out on the other side, but um, for like an amber color, it's got a pretty good clarity to it. Uh, so far, good lace on the, the glass there. Yeah, kind of getting a orangish type of aroma off of it. Maybe a light maltiness, multi type of aroma. Definitely picking up some like floral, like a floral vibe on it. Anyhow. A little bit of bitterness to it. Uh, it is 65 IBU. Um, kind of a, a floral, floral, citrusy, fruity taste coming off of it. A little bit of bitterness on the back end. 
Um, aftertaste lingers around a little bit, but it's not too bad. Definitely drinkable. A lot of nice uh, lacing there on the on the glass. That's real nice there. It is easy drinking. I don't know if I'd consider it a beginner IPA, but <clears throat> um, definitely um, not real hoppy. Doesn't taste real hoppy. Although the website list, and I'll have it on the video here, uh, we're looking at about six different types of hops and about seven different types of malts, I believe. Um, so I have all that posted up there and you can read all that. But anyhow, definitely easy drinking. I do recommend this. I actually I picked up another um, Upland um, beer. I can't remember what it is, but I picked it up uh, the other day over at uh, Kroger when I was over in Indiana. Um, stopped at Kroger over there, like I said. Um, I'm probably going to roll that video somewhere in here, maybe beginning of this video. Uh, kind of give you an idea how they got a nice uh, craft beer set up over in Kroger. It's real nice. But uh, anyway, this is uh, easy drinking. Uh, you guys that have seen my videos, you know my rating system. I'm not a professional. I don't take it too serious. Uh, I just like to have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, you can see here, um, zero, I don't ever want to see this crap again. Six, I push an old person down to grab the last one. Uh, two opposite extremes there. I think I'm going to give this about, um, I'd probably give this about a three and a half to a four out of six. Um, I'd probably drink it. i definitely drink it again. Um, I probably, I might even drink it anytime it's available. It's actually easy drinking. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go with the four. I'm going to say the official rating on this, uh, I'll give it a four out of six. Uh, it's a nice, um, not overpowering IPA, easy to drink, nice, uh, citrusy, fruity vibe, floral vibe coming off of it. Uh, good balance between the malts and the hops. I recommend this. Go out, pick it up for yourself. It's in your area. Uh, see what you think. Uh, four out of six. That's my thoughts.